Oh, oh, I've been diagnosed with diabetes. What do I do? There's a common fear, common anxiety, common feeling of failure that patients experience once they are first diagnosed with diabetes. Whenever a person sits across the table in front of me and is newly diagnosed with diabetes, I simply lift up the reports and say, see, we are now treating deranged reports. Your blood glucose values are high, your lipid profile is high, but today your eyes, kidneys, nerves and heart is intact. So our job is to control these numbers, that's it. How do we control these numbers? That is a common question. So first thing, the first principle, there is no secret mantra actually for getting the diabetes under control. There are certain principles to be followed. Diet, eating small and frequent meals is one of the best ways to get your diabetes under control. And when you talk about small meals, that means we are trying to avoid the highly calorigenic food, for example, sweets and biryanis. So if you keep them away, we can eat smaller and more frequent meals. The second is exercise. The moment diabetes gets diagnosed, everybody rushes to the gym and does like one hour, two hours of exercise and then stop completely after one or two months. Don't do anything of that sort. Do something that is sustainable. Do three hours of any aerobic exercise that you like in a week. I think that is sustainable over a period of time. Even if you're able to do walk for three hours in a week, you will go a long way in preventing diabetes and its complications. Third, stress is a part of every job nowadays. You cannot use that excuse that I'm stressed out. Find out ways to de-stress. Can you do pranayama or any other form of meditation for only five to 10 minutes a day? I'm sure you can. You have to find that five to 10 minutes per day in time. Regular visit to your doctor is the most important thing also. So if you don't visit your doctor regularly and don't analyze these numbers, what is your blood glucose, what is your cholesterol, what is your blood pressure and are we touching on any complications related to diabetes, it has to be done. So we are not wanting these reports to be abnormal. We as doctors want these reports to be normal only so that in future these numbers don't cause any problems. So regular diet, exercise for 180 minutes per week, de-stressing in the form of pranayama, meeting your doc regularly reassessing where your diabetes is will never allow you to get admitted in the hospital with x y z reasons so having diabetes is still not the end of life it's just an indication that you need to follow certain principles that's it mm -hmm.